Researchers at Robarts Research Institute in London have made a discovery which may hold the key to new methods for treatment of amyotrophic lateral sclerosis, or ALS. Andy Fleming has details on the discovery dealing with what is also known as Lou Gehrig's disease. The Robarts Research Institute has done it again. London researchers have identified a protein mechanism tied to the degeneration of neurons in ALS sufferers, a discovery that may hold the key to new methods of disease treatment. Michael Strong tells us more. Well, the discovery we've made looks at a specific protein that now seems to link together two features of ALS. So the protein was discovered in the fall by a group in the States uh, and another group in Japan at about the same time. And what they showed was that a an accumulation of protein in the cell that we've been trying to sort out for years is made up of one very distinctive protein, or at least one distinctive protein. And what we've been able to do is identify what the function of that protein is um, and then show how it's abnormal in ALS. Basically, the protein interacts with the messenger that carries genetic instructions that enable motor neurons to carry out internal tasks. What we're actually looking at is called a confocal microscope image, and it's a three-dimensional image. So. What you're actually seeing, these two large cells here are motor neurons within the spinal cord of a patient who had had ALS. Uh, so you're seeing the cell as we're working our way through it and looking at its structure. Everything that's blue is the nucleus of other supporting cells. You can see a nucleus appearing here of the motor neuron, this little bit of blue material that'll show up right now. And then all the rest of it is the cell body. Now all this red material is the abnormal protein, TDP43. And normally, it should be only within that nucleus there, and you can actually catch the edge of the nucleus forming in here. So what's wrong in ALS is that it's out here in the cell body itself. And if you watch carefully, you can see how it forms fibers. So we'll watch this area here. We can see a fiber being formed. We can see the same sort of fiber being formed here and here and in this other cell. So this is actually showing the abnormal localization of this protein within the cell. It should be moving, if it's out of the nucleus, it should be moving down out into the cell processes. So why is it stuck? And what we've discovered is that regardless of why it's stuck, it's interfering with the way this RNA is handled. So it's a very, very specific protein now, and, and this is the mechanism we're concerned about. Reporting from the Robarts Research Institute, Andy Fleming, First Local.